Hey guys, how's it going? So what you guys are watching is the new R32 GTR MFD kit that we make so you can fit in a CD7AM dash display to your 32 GTR. So this is the part where we print all of the uh, brackets that come in the kit, the enclosure, so we can install it on a customer's car. So. After the print is done, uh, we're going to show you how it's installed, it's very simple, it should take less than an hour and it's going to look amazing, you'll see it. Hey guys, so in this video I want to introduce you to a kit we made to install the AM CD7 display to your R32, it could be a GTR, GTS, any R32 you have. And uh, the source of inspiration for this is the MFD screen that you see on the R34s and the R35s. I wanted to make something cool for the R32s. And this is what we came up with. So this is the software version or the CAD version for the kit. So it's very simple. It's just um, one, two brackets per side the same bolts for the CD7 and we just need four more for the dash and to put the brackets together and finally this single one to hold the cover in the back so yeah this is it it's very simple everything fits nicely and it's labeled on each one so you know it's driver side or passenger side and it looks awesome on the car I'm gonna record some more on how to install it in the car and how it looks and how it works uh, also keep in mind this only works if you have a standalone ECU that's compatible with this so Haltec, AM Infinity, Motec, ECU Master, Link ECU you know those brands it won't work with an Apex C power if see a lot of people ask it won't work with that because it doesn't have a can a can output it has to have a can output so you can connect with this uh, we have two kits, one for the CD7, which is the, the bigger screen, which is this one, and one for the CD5, which is the smaller screen. And uh, I'm going to leave the links below so you guys can buy whatever you, you have. So whether it's the CD5 or CD7, uh, it's going to work. It's just going to look a little smaller here in the front. Alright, let's go to the next step now, which is installing it on the car. Okay, so this is JD's 32 GTR, and uh, this is actually the car where we installed the uh, dash display kit for the, the 32 Skyline. It could be a GTS, GTR, it'll fit on all of the 32s actually. Yeah, so this is it, man. It's very flush, it's perfectly it's easy to install. It takes about 40 minutes to install the whole thing. And this is how it looks. I'm gonna start the car so you guys can see how cool it is. So that's the initial screen. And this is the uh, first screen actually, uh, where you can see boost and all of the other parameters in there. The next one is this one, which is inspired on the 35. GTR Nismo, so we designed these ourselves and it comes in the kit, uh, so when you order the kit from us it'll come already with uh, all of these screens, it works also obviously, the mount driver works in, um, with the GPS, because this is a GPS uh, model, now these uh, screens, the AM uh, CD7s, they come in different configurations, so you can have one with GPS, without GPS, with logging, without logging, and we have all of those options. I'm gonna post the link below so you can select the one that you want. This is the other screen. Uh, this one comes from AM, so this one is uh, already a default screen. And this is a boost gauge, which is a graph or dial gauge uh, what else that's it so yeah it looks pretty cool I like how it came out it's very clean and uh, 
now you can see everything faster than you could with the older gauges because these are really slow and uh, you can see a lot more data than before cool I'm gonna make a pass and then uh, that's gonna be the end of the video